morning, my friends. This is Magic Brad with The Magic Brad Show here on a Friday. It's a Freedom Friday. I decided to call it Freedom Friday because of the Fs. So Friday is an F word. <laughs> well, I hope you're doing good. I changed my little header here into uh, like, a, like a maroon color because I can do that with this platform called StreamYard, which is pretty cool. So... I did a little introduction, uh, if you saw it on uh, making my coffee this morning, and my friend Mike Wilkie showed up, a uh, fellow, faithful fellow, fond friend, f -f 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 more Fs, and I did it with my phone, my mobile phone, and it uh, worked pretty good, but I wanted to try something other than uh, doing this live with StreamYard like this, because sometimes... These platforms like Facebook, they don't like certain softwares working, and they uh, suppress things. And uh, ironically, it's a Freedom Friday, so that's what we're talking about is freedom and not being suppressed or depressed or censored. But um, hey, you know what? Facebook is like a private entity. Even though it's gone public, it's still... Um, it's not my domain, you know, I'm just a free member. So they can do whatever they want to do, right? But uh, the topics I was going to talk about as far as freedom go, there's three of them. Three, free, dumb. Dumb. The one is uh, the freedom. We, most people think freedom. They think land of the free, home of the brave. They think America. And by the way, it's not America. It's the United States of America. America is just a small little segment of this big giant continent, North and South America, you know? So the United States of America is what we're referring to. That's supposed to be the free land. But it's not really that free if you think about it. you got to stop at stop signs. You're not supposed to go over the speed limit. You're not supposed to smoke inside of restaurants. That's not free. There's There's laws and regulations. You're not supposed to burn down people's buildings. You're not supposed to hit people and be mean. You're not supposed to talk loud at night. You're supposed to be peaceful. There's laws and things. So sometimes things aren't really free. But some people think they have the right to be wrong and they end up uh, breaking rules. But that's not what I was really here to talk about. Let me see if I got my little comments in place. And then I'm going to write a little thing. I'll say, oh, look it. Well, that's from before. Greetings and welcome. Oh, I screwed up there. Welcome to Freedom Friday. Ba 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 boom. There it is. So I'm doing this on Periscope and also I'm doing it on Facebook. So Freedom Friday is again like three different things. Oh, I got my friend Ryan. Three, I said. <laughs> Through how many he says how many how many kinds of freedom? Ryan says how many many kinds of freedom? Yes, there are many kinds, many many. But I'm just going to talk about three, and they have to do with entrepreneurship and being self-employed. How rare! So number one freedom is time. The clock is always ticking. So some people don't have time freedom. I mean, well, we've all got 24 hours in a day, but sometimes people are locked into certain things they've got to do so they don't have the freedom to go do what they want to do. And by that, I mean a job, a nine to five job where you got to go to work um, and you're stuck there. And like I've got things where I'm locked in with this time. I had to do this thing at 11 o'clock because I'm committed to it. So here I am. It's uh, 11.04 and I am not free to go. If I wanted to go for a drive or if I wanted to go walk around the lake, I can't do it because I got to be here with you now so time freedom that's one of the things that uh i want to talk about number two is location freedom similar to time freedom if you're committed to something you don't have the ability to be mobile the nice thing about our phones is i could be doing this mobile walking around the lake holding my phone i can go wherever i want as long as i got a wi-fi connection or internet access I can do these videos. So as a self-employed person doing online digital marketing and promotion, 
I can do, I can work where I want with my, as long as I have internet access. And then uh, three is your financial freedom. Having the ability to scale up your income if you can and go beyond um, a limited income. And what I'm getting at here is like some people that have the job, they are limited how, my, how many hours they can work a day because they're being paid by the hour. I call them wage slaves or slave to the clock. And I don't say that uh, to be mean. I just, it's the truth. <laughs> if you're functioning off of a, do a dollar per hour mentality or a dollar per hour compensation plan, there's only so many hours in the day you can work. And there's only so many dollars per hour that an employee is willing to pay you. Now, if it's, if it's a different, it's a compensation structure of a commission salesperson, that's kind of different because you could bust your ass for eight hours a day and work really, really hard and make a lot of sales and make a lot of significant commissions and then maybe take the rest of the week off if your boss will let you. So there's uh, different kinds of, of freedom and uh, who was it? Janis Joplin, I think, said, uh, freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose, which is kind of true. <laughs> but uh, who wants to lose? I don't want to lose. So specifically about the concept of time freedom. Time is an interesting thing in that it's sort of a, of a man-made kind of thing. You know, the, 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 the sun, the world's the turns, and the sun kind of goes through the sky, and you know when it's uh, high in the sky, it's like noonish. But that that's a constant. And uh, but it's still kind of made up. And the reason I say it's kind of made up is I I used to be a full time performing magician, entertainer, and sometimes I would be traveling to a gig, and I left a little bit late, and I was a little concerned because I wasn't going to get there on time. But for some reason. I always seem to get there. And so even though time is a constant, all the variables that might happen on the way to a destination may be in your favor. Like you might hit all the green lights, so you're going to be able to get there quicker. Or you might be on the freeway and you're stuck behind some slow poke and you're not going to get your destination. But sometimes when the stars are aligned and everything is in going your favor, you can be able to get in front of somebody that's moving along or the they're on the right-hand side of the lane and you can get, get, keep going. So sometimes time works for you, but there are limitations to time. So that's why as a self-employed person, I prefer this self-employed model because if I really want to work, I can work hard. And like if you've got a job and all of a sudden you wake up at 11 o'clock at night and you go, I wish I could work right now. You can't because the, the business office is closed. So you can't. So you have to work from home or something. Um, so that's the concept of time that I enjoy as a self-employed person. I can work when I want, where I want. Um, after this uh, video is done, I think what I might do is go get a haircut. And because it's Friday, maybe I'll just uh, hang out. Maybe I'll go walk around the lake or something. Or maybe I'll do some. Um, some posts and things to put some things out there, put some products out there. The, the business model that I'm functioning in is called affiliate marketing. In fact, I got a graphic for that. Let me show you. I got I just love showing off this graphic stuff. Affiliate infomercial. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> what is an affiliate infomercial? That's the method that I use for promoting affiliate programs is doing videos like this and promoting a product, service, or cause. So time. Time is one of the freedoms that we've got. You've got a lot of time, 24 hours in a day. Some people say time is money. That's not true because if time was money, we'd all have the same amount. We have the same amount of time. Everybody's got 24 hours in a day. It depends on what you're using it for. So that's the concept of time. Now, mobility. Um, if you've got a business that you've got to run, even if you're self-employed and you have like a restaurant, the restaurant business is kind of tough. I've never really been in it. Um, I've known some people in the restaurant business. You got to like, got to need to like people if you're going to be in the restaurant business. Um, 
you need to be present and uh, you need to like either or hire a manager that's going to take care of all the employees and be there and uh, do the you know customer service and everything the whole concept of uh of uh, being stuck in a spot isn't real appealing to me i'd like to be able to get up and move um i've taken on some part-time jobs out of high school i did work for the county parks department and used to get up at six in the morning to get to the shop by seven and then get in the trucks and go out to the woods and chainsaws and you get a 15 minute break at nine o'clock and then noon you get to have a half hour lunch and then at two o'clock you got another 15 minutes and then at four o'clock you go home and it was pretty structured but you couldn't didn't have a lot of leeway you know when it's time to go back to work after lunch break you got to go back to work um so being um, self-employed, you have much more flexibility with stuff like that. Um, I get my comments back up here in case someone has a comment. Sometimes people have comments. <laughs> so the the concept of of location freedom, I like to be able to be mobile. I like the concept of internet marketing because the internet is working twenty four seven. So if I get up at uh, three and sometimes I get up at three, four, five in the morning. And uh, in fact, I did that this morning. I did uh, email, um, I, I did email blasts out to my list. The bell ringing since grade school. Yes, <laughs> exactly. We're programmed like Pavlov's dog. Ryan was talking about the bells in grade school. And uh, that's what it was like. I mean, you, you get up and you gotta go to school and you're running to your locker with your books and run to your classroom trying to get there before. Because if you're tardy, you got a little tardy slip. I remember that. That brings back bad memories, actually. You get too many tardies, then you get stuck in detention and they make you stay after or, or you have to go to summer school or something. <laughs> I don't like that idea. Um, uh, but but we, have, we have been programmed. And that's a whole other topic that someday I'm going to talk about. the. Uh, how society has has programmed us to get a job and work that job, and uh, that's that's what we end up doing. We go to school to get the the good grades and go to college and get a degree so you can get a good job and work on an hourly scale, and then you got Saturday Sunday off. And people used to say TGIF, thank God it's Friday because the work day the work week is over, and they dreaded Mondays. So the, all you really get is you get Friday night and then Saturday night and Sunday you're hung over. I don't drink anymore, so I don't experience that. And then you get up on Monday and you got to go back to work. Some people dread that, and it's amazing how many people continue to do it. And I believe that the reason they do that is because they're programmed by the schools and the ringing of the bells, the Pavlov's dog thing, programming, to go to work and do that kind of thing. What if in grade school and high school and junior, junior and senior high school, if they taught us how to be self-employed and how to start our own businesses and how to occupy ourselves and how to earn our own income, start our own little businesses? Um, I'm not saying that that's for everybody, but I think a lot of people would like to start their own businesses and have the freedom of being able to work when they want, where they want, and how they want. And what if school taught you that instead of teaching us about Christopher Columbus and 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue and the need of the pint and the Santa Maria? What is the, What good does that do me? <laughs> it's kind of weird knowing all that stuff. And I don't, I don't remember a lot out of school. In school, I was a C and D student. I really didn't like it. And I got A's in shop class and physical education and phi ed in gym class. A's and B's in gym and... Printing, graphic arts, uh, metal shop, wood shop, and drafting. So I, I did go on to do some design drafting out of high school. I did have a job. I was doing working as a subcontractor, but that's a different story. Working as a, a, a contract draftsman. So where was I? Oh, I was going to get into the. We got the third one, and I don't, I don't like doing these too long. I'm up to 15 minutes. I keep my, my videos down to about 20 minutes so I don't consume your valuable time. Then Ryan says, yes, here's another one, Ryan says, tells you when, when to eat and when to sleep. It kind of does. 
not so well they didn't they didn't program you that sleep time too didn't they they gave you the little little towel in kindergarten you had to lay on the tile floor with a towel i remember that you take little naps so they do teach you that when to sleep and when to eat and the, you gotta have a lunch break and everything um i sometimes eat whenever i'm hungry or whenever i feel like it so so i did uh time freedom i talked about geographic location freedom next is financial freedom again i touched on that a little bit as far as the concept of having a salary you're either limited by how much you're going to make per year because that's what the company will pay you and you got some flexibility on time as long as you get the job done they're going to give you this salary and that's what your salary is or sometimes it's an hourly wage and by the end of the week or two weeks you get paid what the hours that you worked but you're expected to work that eight hour day and uh it used to be eight hours and now i'm not sure what it is but people are working crazy hours a day um i was checking out ryan's messages here um so the idea of uh, being self-employed what's nice about working with internet type of income is when you get things set up when you find something that's a hit when you find a uh, a customer audience audience is buying a specific product and it's a it's a fit for it you can start putting some gas on the fire and driving paid traffic to that offer which increases your income so there's really no no end to that when it's a scalable type product because if this product is something that's of global appeal you can basically target uh, they call them in, in the affiliate marketing world it's tier 1 cities or tier 1 countries United States Canada the United United Kingdom Australia and New Zealand are the tier 1 countries cuz they're english speaking countries and they have uh, fairly decent economies so they got budgets to buy things. So if you can target those types of uh, countries and prospective customers with like a Facebook ad, you can scale that up by putting more money into it and you can make more money off it. So it sounds easy, but it's not. It is pretty a simple formula if you understand that, you know, if you're selling maybe um, Custom made it made uh, logo uh, yoga pants, and you know how to find all the yoga enthusiasts, and you want to target them because you found the sweet spot is uh, females ages twenty five to thirty five. You can target those people, all with the interest of yoga. You can target all those people on Facebook, and then you pour advertising into that and get them to buy those those yoga pants. So. That's one of the, the ways you can scale the income up. And think about it. If all of a sudden you could hit it hot and made $100,000 in three months, you can take the rest of the year off if you wanted to. Not that that's an easy thing to do, but I'm just saying. <laughs> and then as a, as a disclaimer, this stuff is not easy. This online marketing thing is not easy. And I've got some other theories and beliefs on why it's not that easy. And I could get into that in another uh, video if they ever wanted me to do one on that. Because there's, there's reasons why the internet is a difficult way to make money. And I'll touch on it a little bit. It's because it's so vast. There's so many people out there. Not just it's hard to find all those people, but also there's other competitors. And I don't like to use the, use the term competitors because I'm not a competitive marketer. But there's a lot of other people out there promoting something similar to what you're promoting. So they cloud up the, they, they muddy up the marketplace. So you got to figure out how to find that ideal person. And when you can tune in on that, I was just watching a guy, um, his name is Patrick Bet, B E T, what an interesting middle name. I can't remember his last name, but I watch him once in a while. He's got a program called Valuetainment. I watch it on YouTube. And um, he was talking about how making money is a game. And if you can look at it as a game, you know, it's just a matter of adjusting and tweaking little things. I am personally, I'm challenged with that because it's hard for me to stay focused. It really, really is. 
but taking one thing and just kind of tweaking little things, I work at it and try and optimize and get things more targeted. I'm getting more targeted. Like I, I learned to uh, not be so vague. I used to do this at Synergy Cafe. Now I de decide to focus in and I've decided to call it Magic Brad, the Magic Brad Show, which I'm going to give myself a little plug for that right here and now. The Magic Brad Show. Dot com. Right there. See it? There it is. There it is. There it is. Dot com. Magic Brad Show. Dot com. If you would ever like to come on my show like this, what I do is I interview people, talk about their business, and try and get them some exposure. And then I post it on my YouTube channel and I propagate it all the way out there. And speaking of my YouTube channel, if you could go to my YouTube channel and you can get there by going to. Dun, 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 dun. Magicbrad.com. So if you go to magicbrad.com, there's a little banner on there and you can go to my YouTube channel. And if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers. And if you could watch the videos all the way through, because I'm trying to get up to 4,000 video views, hours, viewing hours. And the reason for that is because once they do that, it starts to monetize it and get some uh, momentum. So also, if you're interested in this marketing thing, you can, and you want to contact me, you can go to contactmagicbread.com. That's a page where I've got my phone number and my Facebook messenger if you want to message me. Other than that, we're up to 22 minutes. That's all I've got for you today. Peace, love, and happiness. So I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you very much. I'm going to sign this one off, beam it up to the universe, and you enjoy the rest of your Friday. Be free and enjoy. Be safe. Be nice. Be kind. Don't hurt people. And don't riot. Be in by the curfew. <laughs>